Uh, Jock, you've been in uh, the country a, a few weeks. Just what have you made of your, your time so far at Bath? Yeah, the, the weather has been pretty good, um, considering considering what I'm used to back home. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it, learning a lot from the coaches, the players around me, um, especially set piece wise, scrums, mauling. It's a bit of different, bit different uh, technical stuff than than I'm used to back home. Um, but yeah, enjoying it. Uh, I think it's a bunch of good boys uh, training together, helping each other every day. Uh, we have a common goal that we we're playing for. So. So yeah, really, really been enjoying it, um, and the boys have been making some fun of me with my, with my English as well. So yeah, it's been good. And what have you? What's the kind of the differences between the the southern hemisphere and the, the northern hemisphere in terms of the, the style of play? Yeah, I'd say these first couple of weeks was probably a lot closer to Super Rugby than than I thought it would be. I think because the weather conditions were were up for it. Um, we were able to throw the ball around a bit the first three weeks, and the teams we played against as well. Quick rock ball, um, ball in play was a lot, a lot longer than, than it would be in a Super Rugby game. I think the teams over here keep keep the ball a lot better for longer phases than in Super Rugby. We might play three or four phases and end up losing it, uh, making a 50-50 pass over here. The boys end up making more than 10 phases quite often in one game. So there's a bit of bit bit of changes. Uh, obviously, when the weather weather sets in and the rain starts coming down, I, I guess uh, the game plans of the teams will probably change a bit and go more into a kicking style and a lot more forward forward based scrums, malls and stuff like that. And you've had a, the chance to experience the wet wreck. What do you, what do you uh, make of make of that as a, as a ground being in the centre of the city? Oh, it's lovely. Uh, uh, next to the river, um, really beautiful being out there yesterday with my wife. She she just stood there looking at the river there, so that she couldn't believe it. Um, and the crowd was amazing on the weekend. Um, I think with that last kick, everyone dead quiet. And, and luckily for us, unfortunately for them, uh, he ended up kick, kicking it against the post. We got the win, and the crowd just erupted. So, yeah, it's it's a lot different than back home. Smaller stadiums, but always full. Uh, people always supporting, um, and the people over here are a lot more vocal than, than I'm used to back home. A lot more people in it in South Africa in the stadiums, but make a lot less noise than over here. So. Thoroughly enjoying it. And Saracens this weekend, we know a lot about them as a side, but but what do you what do you make of them, and what do you think they'll bring to the game on on the weekend? Yeah, obviously they're a quality side. They've showed it the past couple of seasons. They they've been doing really well um, in all competitions in Europe and in the Premiership. Um, they've got a big pack. Um, obviously they scrum well. They their defence is one of the the biggest pillars, and their backs when they when they get turnover ball, their backs strike pretty well. Um, they can have like a one-man overlap or one chance, and they'll they'll end up scoring a try. So I think the team that just makes better decisions on the weekend, make less mistakes, hold on to the ball for longer, um, and and just um, take in the pressure a bit better than the other team will probably end up getting the win. Um, but yeah, they it's going to be a formidable task to play them at home. Um, yeah, looking looking forward to the challenge.